Don't just forget it. This is where you are? How can you still be sleeping? Oh, I was just, I don't know. I hit the snooze button a couple of times. I'm just tired. A couple of times, Brent? It's almost 5 o'clock. There's like three minutes till the show starts. You better get up. You still get up, Brent. Okay. Wait down, wait down, wait down. Get up. Stop it. I'm <clears throat> totally going to mess with Brent's dreams. Welcome to Pick Boy's House of Wonder. Oh. Hey, where'd that duck come from? Hey, come back here, ducky. <laughs> Pick Live starts next, and Pick Boy is awesome. Strike like a bowling ball. Or my personal favorite, stand still like a donkey, negotiate like a diplomat. Yeah. Was but it good, before, right? You like that? Yeah, really you like good. Those? But before we get to any of that, let's send it over to Pick Boy for your SpongeBob personal pick. I have those patented. You can't use those. Thanks, guys. Boy, I wish I had a person named Nicole to do today's SpongeBob personal pick. Your name wouldn't be Nicole by any chance. It is. Oh, oh man. What's your SpongeBob personal pick? Um, when Spongebob and Patrick go treasure hunting. Oh, when Spongebob and Patrick go treasure hunting. That is a great episode. Roll it. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun audience. They're ready to party. You're watching you pick lives. The fact that your friends and family are standing around you going, ka-ching, ka-ching. That means it's time for the prize wall punch. I didn't oh, like I that, I didn't. <laughs> ka-ching. Yeah, you like That's that right, one. That's right, Britt. I nice like it. I like thing. it. Thing. Well, lucky lad. Bucket of Bucks, the Bucket of Yuck, or an autographed t-shirt. If you win the autographed t-shirt, everyone gets a t-shirt. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Which one do you want to see him go for? Okay, quiet! Denzel, which number would you like? Four? 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 Four, 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 four dude, here. Dude. Are you ready? Here goes four. Wow! Mystery pie filling. Now, in one of the buckets is a prize, and in the other one, well, let's just say it's um, it's a hairy experience. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Get in there, pick one. Yeah. Roll that sleeve yeah. up. the lead singer karaoke mic. The lead singer mic puts karaoke in your hand with built-in songs you're ready to go from lead singer. Pretty good, or 
earlier. Yeah, that freaked me out, man. Bring. That was what, nice, what was, what was huh? it like behind really there? Oh, it was kind of cool. It's kind of, it's kind of tight back there, but uh, we knew it was gonna get you, so uh, <laughs> it was nice. It was nice. I didn't know what's going on. I put my hand out, and then they were like. No, no, you gotta get the thing that's in there. And I pulled it in, and someone started grabbing me. I thought I was gonna get thrown to the prize wall. Ah, uh -huh, we got you. It was scary. So, um, and are we there yet? You, you drive these kids hundreds of miles to impress their mom. Yeah. So, you gotta tell us a story. Have you ever done something crazy to impress a girl? You know, I walked over six miles to see a girl before. No yeah, way. Yeah. Really? You know, I went to see my girlfriend when I was young, and my parents wouldn't take me, so I said, <laughs> I'm gonna walk. And I, man, walked the whole way. Take y'all day? <laughs> but, but, yeah, I was gonna say, by the time you get to, like, what's up? You have to go home. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> it's gonna get dark so soon. you've done a lot of different things in the entertainment business. Now, if you had to choose between acting or music, which would it be? Oh, man, that's hard. Both of them so fun, you know. I've been doing music since I was young, and acting has done so much for me. Uh, uh, it's hard to pick the two. I guess I'll say uh, music. Yeah. Music? Yeah, yeah, which one? Yeah. Which one comes more naturally to you? Like, which one do you feel like more at ease when you're actually like doing it? Uh, the music because you know I can I can kind of create that on my own. You know, with a movie, you you need over a hundred people to really right, right. put it together, right? So it's a different collaboration. So it takes more, you know, just more teamwork. You know, so a record is easier to make. Right. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. All right, stick around because there's more SpongeBob coming your way. Hey, let's go. is coming up next and it's all about your votes so we call this town hall meeting to discuss the important issues i have a question from the lounge are you going to reform your nick.com pick policy we've got a lot of good nick tunes no no answer personal form is no you man why is it sometimes you work with leaders like jimmy neutron and cat talk and sometimes you won't uh we're working hard i thought these kids were pre-screened to agree with everything i say i'm getting out of here okay w wait uh uh the good night no this way Rated PG. Hey, you're watching Music Live, and it's time for your Nick.com pick. You've been voting all day between Cat Dog, Rocket Power, and Jimmy Neutron. And we are doing show appropriate presentations of the results of your show. Correct. Here to present how many of you voted for Cat Dog is our own made, homemade cat and dog fusion, Mr. Billingsworth. Hello, Mr. Billingsworth. 25%. Thank you, Mr. Billingsworth. Thanks, Mr. Billingsworth. Sorry. <laughs> and here to present how many of you voted for Rocket Power is a doodle from Pick Boy's Notebook. 23%. 23%. And to tell us how many of you voted for Jimmy Neutron, here's a dude named Jimmy who we found walking around Times Square. Hey, Jimmy. 52%. 52%. Today's challenge is the human ring talk. Representing the boys will be me and Joy, and representing the girls will be Candace and Patricia. That's right. All right, here's how it's going to work. As you can clearly see, our loungers have these contraptions attached to them with sticks. And as you can clearly see over here, our competitors have these rings. They have 30 seconds on the clock to toss as many rings onto the stick attached to their lounger partners. At the end of 30 seconds, whoever has the most will be declared today's winner. Are we clear on the rules? Yes. I want a clean Damn. game. I want a clean game. Here we go. On your mark, get set. <laughs> so far we got a zero, zero. Oh, girls have two. Girls have two. It's a, oh, wow. Three. Two to three, two to three. Three to three. Oh, four. This is amazing, boys. This is Girl Scout. We got more You Big Live coming up after this. Good job. Good job. Come on, let me hear it. Everybody. Hey, you're watching.
watching You Pick Live, and it's time to get some culture here at Show Us Your Stuff Art Gallery. Definitely. Today we're visiting the Creature Atrium, featuring traditional renderings of rare and often dangerous animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, our first piece was sent in by Dimitri from mm. California, and it shows a close-up of a disgruntled parasite on a man's hairy back. Scary. Now, why is it so angry, you might ask? Because it swapped its arms for a springy head ball. Oh, jeez. Always now, a I bad know. decision. Mm -hmm. Anthony from Massachusetts drew this next piece, which depicts a spotted rab cat in its defensive stance. Now, notice how it draws its entire body up to its head and displays its fangs under its bushy mustache when threatened. Mm. Mm, yeah. Very exciting. Exhilarating. Okay. Truly majestic. This is one courtesy of Emma from Tennessee. What looks like a placid view of Bikini Bottom hides something more interesting. A giant blue hydrant beast bellowing its haunting mating call. And last but not least, this is... Uh, well, it's a stick figure laughing at us. Who sent this yeah, in? I don't know. It's really... Uh, that would be me. <laughs> I pranked you. <laughs> uh, uh, don't quit your day job, dude. Nice yeah, like going. You know, it <laughs> if you want to show us your stuff, send it to you pick Live, PO Box 1001, New York, New York, 10108. Now here's more Jimmy Neutron on you pick Live. It was funny, though. Yeah. It's nice. You're obviously like, an artist. Confused. You're a great artist. It took me an hour to do this. Okay. <laughs> really? Hey, Pit Boy, uh, you know what segment's up next? Uh, let's see here. Words, words, words. No, I have no idea. What up? Hey, Candace. Hey, no, what's up? No, guys. What up? Yeah, we heard you the first time. <laughs> Someone needs to take a nap. Does anyone know what segment's up next? What up? Candace, not much is up. Thank you for asking. Wait, wait. I got it. Right here. What up? What up is next? Oh, oh right you're here. right. Thanks, big boy. Save the day. Hello. As always. Hey, Candace, what's up? Uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah. What <laughs> is happening here? You yeah, know, I, 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 I. It's time for What Up in Your World. Our top story comes from UPL Queen who posts, I just got contacts and now I don't have to wear my glasses anymore. I'm so happy. No one will ever call me a nerd again. Glasses don't make you a nerd, UPL Queen, but it's nice to try a new look every now and again, I guess. Like this, me. Candace, Candace, are you there? Yeah, I'm over here, Brent. Okay. Okay, so I guess that promise ring that Justin Timberlake gave to Cameron Diaz means a promise of marriage because Cameron is already busy having her wedding dress designed. It's going to be Native American style with matching moccasins. Now that is one powwow I'd like to attend. Thanks, Candice. I'll let you know when I get my invitation. You can come as my date or something. Now for today's weird fact of the day. Did you know that like fingerprints, everyone's tongue print is unique and different from everyone else's? It's true. Candice, what are you doing? I'm trying to take my home back. That's totally oh. ineffective. Dude. That's what up for today. Here's the Arnold. Woo! Oh, I think it's working. Yeah, I get it. Oh, okay. Well, coming up next, Ice Cube is going to take on the Nick Quick Pick, and this time there are no pranks. Yeah, last time the questions was pretty tough. You didn't even get one right. Hopefully, uh, you'll do a little better this time around. Yeah, as long as they don't ask me about the Sumerians, I think I should be cool. <laughs> I totally thought you would have had that one. Keep it right here, because Cube takes on the Nick Quick Pick round two. a challenge of a lifetime with the Nick Quick Pick. Now, uh, on Tuesday, Cube was here and we played a prank on him during the Nick Quick Pick. Uh, that was funny, wasn't it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Well, this time it's legit. We're, we're promising. We're promising. Our lines are 13 cards. You're going to pick one. You answer as fast as you can. The current record is seven set by Dan and DeGarmo. you got 30 seconds on the clock. You ready? I'm ready. Pick. Ten. Ten. Uh, favorites. Favorite song of all time? Uh... Uh, <laughs> uh, knee deep. Go, pick. Pick oh, number. Nine. nine, nine, real or fake? Flying squirrels. Real. Pick. Five. Five, sing it, your name. Ice Cube. Nice, pick. Six. Six, uh, philosophy. Wake up early or stay up late? Uh, wake up early. Wake up early. Pick. One. One versus pink fuzzy hat versus pink disco hat. Uh, pink disco hat. Pink disco hat, I'll put it on, give me it. Pick. Uh, four. Oh, four. Say something nice about circus performers. Uh, I like them. You like them. That's it. How many? Six. Oh, oh. I hesitated. Hey, you hesitated. I hesitated. I hesitated. First one. Favorite song of all time, oh, man. Got to. You had so many songs going yeah. through your head. I know it. I like it. 
like this hat. I look good. Yeah. The thing about it is I make this look good, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's play charade. Okay, okay. Charade. I'm gonna do the charade. All right, all right, all right. I'll do the charade. Here we go. Go, go. Okay, okay two words, words, two words. Zebra, zero, okay. zucchini. Zenith, zombie, zigzag. Zoe. 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 Yes. Zoe. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Second word. Okay. Second word. Rhymes with Leonardo. Okay. Rhymes with uh, head shaking back and forth. Uh, the second word is a number. A number. Two million seven nine four seventy three. Zoe 101! Yes! Yes! Okay, yes. Okay, 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 Got it. It's easy. It's four words. Uh, Pick boy is awesome. This is easy. Game over. Really? Call me when you guys have a challenge. Really? It was my challenge. Pick Ryan this morning. You pick Ryan on the way. Just an ego. Just awesome. I was gonna do an ego. That's our okay. Okay. You guys know how we've been pulling pranks all week. Well, I'm about to pull the most awesomest prank. I got right here. Candace's mom dressed as a pirate. See, Brett and Ice Cube flew her in from Florida. <laughs> Who can see if Candace even recognizes her? Let's go. This is you, Pick Live. I'm Brent. I'm Tannis. And I'm Ice Cube. What's up, guys? Hey, Pick Boy. Uh, who's your friend? Oh, this, uh, this is Mother. <laughs> What's so funny, Pick Boy? Guys, this is your mom. She dressed as a pirate. You no. didn't even recognize her. No, Pick Boy, that is not my mom. It's so No, no Pick Boy, so the joke's on you, man. That's a dummy. No, Dude. this is a dummy. We set you up. <laughs> we tricked you into thinking the dummy was Candace's mom. This is Candace's mom. <laughs> yeah, dummy. I can't believe he got help for it. Yeah. He's a real dummy here, I swear. Yo, ch check out more Rugrats. I'm so sure that's my mom. I know. Yeah. Yeah. High five. Yeah. Are you done? No. Woo, yeah! Okay, now I'm done. Uh, coming up this weekend, be sure to check out the Snake On Air Dare on Saturday at 8, 7 Central. Someone is going to be cutting off their mom's hair. And catch Teen Nick this Sunday because it's hosted by Lindsay Lowe and it starts at 6, 5 Central, so pencil it in. Okay. Now stick around for more You Pick Live after the break. Yeah, the break! Woo, yeah! Break, yeah. settle down, man. Sorry, settle sorry. down. You Pick Live will be back tomorrow at 5, 4 Central. Thank you all for watching. And thank you to our loungers for hanging yes. out today. And thank you, Q, for stopping yeah. out. Yeah! We pranked you on Tuesday. You pranked us today. So I guess that makes us friends, right, yeah. buddy? Uh, I don't think so. No, oh. I'm just playing. We both. Oh, okay, good. Come on, man. Ooh. We even. Friends. We even, Brett. <laughs> all right. Jimmy Neutron is coming up now. But first, here's Ryan with the last word of the day. Tomorrow is Friday. We got Woo! Yeah! You do it! You do it! Yeah. You do it. Yeah. Ah, you hurt my brain!